Good getting internet, and once more I would like to remind people, this is April. April in Wisconsin. Lots of snow on the ground. April. <sighs> There's a boot kitty behind my shoulder. So, it's quite a bit later at night now. Um, I haven't really felt like recording anything today. Um, so, my stress comes out in a variety of ways. And today's form of stress has come out as kind of anger slash rage. And I tend to... Pardon me. Silly carbonated water. Uh, I tend to isolate myself when that happens. That way I don't accidentally bite somebody's head off or anything like that. I don't like doing that. I like being happy and nice to people. Um, Boo really wants something to eat. You can come up here, Boo. Uh, Boo is the least likely to jump up on my lap. Not that it doesn't happen often, just she doesn't listen to what I recommend. So I kind of spent my post-work stuff. I finally figured out how to cook hamburgers for once. Uh, because since I'm pyrophobic, things that smoke cause me to start having stress and anxiety, thus pan frying hamburgers and the idea is that you're supposed to get it pretty close to the smoke point, yeah, that's very stressful for me and I'm not very good at cooking them. Uh, this time I tried using my toaster oven slash convection oven, uh, basically sticking it on broil and it actually came out rather well. It, my burgers ended up somewhere between medium and medium rare, which is to date the closest I've actually gotten my burgers to medium rare. Yes, kitty cat, I know. Meow. 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 So, I guess I can quickly record what I did for the burgers. I mean, I'm kind of out of ideas for today, and I'm definitely out of time. I just want to re record this already. Let me flip the camera around for a moment. So, this is my convection oven slash toaster oven. It is technically a convection oven, but I use it kind of like a toaster oven. So I ended up setting it to broil. I'm not going to actually turn it on. Broil, turn it on, and basically I have. Ugh, this kind of needs to be cleaned. Um, I had. Mm, I can't demonstrate because it's. No, oh, it's over here. So. One moment. Oh, this is probably a lot of noise. Move all of these things off. Ow. So, had this covered in foil, sent to the medium height, and then a rack, not this one, the one that's currently in the dishwasher, up here at the highest height, with hamburger patty on top right in the middle and basically stick it in there for about it ended up being about eight or nine minutes total um, I did not preheat or anything which is the reason why it took so long and then flip it over and keep it in there for another about two minutes and it came out medium now to put all of these back Ugh. There was one other thing that I wanted to talk about. Um, I decided that I was going to sign up for some classes. Uh, so I get, um, roughly once a quarter, I get a Madison Techn Area Technical College School of Continuing Education little booklet thing with a list of classes that they're offering. And these are things that are, you know, they're, this is community college equivalent. It's non-credit classes, things along the nature of um, how to use Google and some tech classes, but also some other things. And in this case, they were offering cooking classes using the Instant Pot, which, while I've figured out a lot of things about the Instant Pot, one of the classes that they're offering is Indian food in the Instant Pot, and that's one of the things that I've been wanting to experiment with. 
I have not had much success in cooking Indian food myself. Or really, it's British food with an Indian... You get the idea. Anyway, um, I've had a little bit of success, but not a whole bunch. And it's a way for me to start having something to do outside of work and home and seeing people that I know from work or people that I knew from work and... Yeah. Boo is really insistent I go to bed, so I'm going to go ahead and cut this short. Good night, Internet. I will see you tomorrow.